Assalamu alaikum. This is Himi Syed from 30mustards.ca. 30 Mustards at Home in 30 Days of Ramadan 2020. I was curious as to the number of people who might say Ramadan Mubarak by recording and sharing a video online. So I went looking this morning, the first uh, full day of fasting, and I found a bunch. Uh, curiously, almost every one of these video messages that were wishing Ramadan Mubarak were from politicians. I uh, searched online um, looking for uh, using different keywords and uh, provinces, city names uh, from across Canada and here's what I came up with. So this is Himi Syed uh, wishing you a Ramadan Mubarak and um, Let's go listen to some politicians. Assalamu alaikum. Today, Muslims in Canada and around the world will mark the start of Ramadan. Over the coming month, people will pray and reflect during the day, and in the evening, they'll break their day-long fast. This time calls on Muslims to honor the values at the very heart of Islam, values like compassion, peace, and service to others. And while there's no doubt that Ramadan will be different this year, I know people will still find ways to bring its true meaning to life. Muslim Canadians have always made our country a better, stronger place, and this month will be no exception. From food donations to helping seniors with grocery deliveries, organizations like the Canadian Muslim Response Network have already stepped up to help. Groups like Islamic Relief and the International Development and Relief Foundation are collecting much-needed medical supplies for our frontline workers through initiatives like Conquer COVID-19. And on that note, I want to recognize all of our essential workers who are taking care of us even while fasting. They're doing their part, and we all need to do ours. So observe Ramadan while staying home this year. Instead of having iftar with friends or at the mosque or community center, get together with them online. Keep trips for groceries to once a week or less. And if you do have to go out, stay at least two meters away from each other. This Ramadan will be different than normal, but by taking care of each other, by reaching out to family and friends, I know that it will still be full of community and hope. On behalf of our family, Sophie and I wish everyone celebrating a peaceful and blessed Ramadan. Ramadan Mubarak. Assalamu alaikum. I know that this year Ramadan is going to feel very different. We won't be able to break fast with the community like we normally would, and we won't be able to give back in ways that we typically would either. But I want you to know that what I hear on the ground is that it's our faith communities that are making sure that we still have the hope to continue fighting, and that we still have the love of community even when we're physically distancing. And for that, I am so truly grateful. So to all my Muslim friends, family, and community members, for everyone that's celebrating Ramadan a little bit differently this year, I want you to know that I see you, I hear you, and I am so very grateful to you. You are in my thoughts and in my prayers. Ramadan Mubarak. Hello, friends and neighbors. My name is Faisal Hassan. I'm your member of provincial parliament for York South Western. The holy month of Ramadan, the most important in the Islamic calendar, is about to begin. Wishing a blessed and peaceful Ramadan to all Muslims in Canada and around the world. Brothers and sisters, Ramadan Mubarak. Everyone, salamu alaikum. It's Peter Fregascados, your member of parliament in London North Centre. London, like Canada, is defined and strengthened by its diversity. This week, members of the Muslim community of this city begin observing Ramadan, a time of spiritual reflection, prayer, and the carrying out of good deeds. The key feature of Ramadan is fasting. Over a period of one month, Muslims will abstain from eating or drinking between dawn and sunset. 
This sacrifice shows a commitment to faith and brings followers closer to Allah, or God. While Muslims will be unable to gather together in their places of worship, this example of sacrifice also serves to inspire during the extremely challenging times that we face as a community. Londoners of Muslim heritage have given so much to Canada and to London. They work as doctors, nurses, lawyers, engineers, teachers, and much more. From my family to yours, Ramadan Mubarak. Thank you so much for making this city and this country a better place. This evening marks the beginning of the month of Ramadan, and tonight is the first prayer before fasting. Although acts of worship are very personal, the nightly prayers and the congregation are a big part of this month. Families, friends, neighbors come together in such a beautiful way with so much love, care, and a sense of togetherness. It's been a big part of our family and as well as our Scarpo Southwest community. However, as we face this uncertain reality, we know that this year's Ramadan will be very different. It will be unlike anything we have experienced before. And many of you are already trying to do, do your best uh, to engage community members in so many different ways while we continue with social isolation. So I want to thank all of you. I also want to thank everyone for continuing to abide by public health guidelines. I know it's going to be a tough month, but I'm sure that our prayers in isolation or with the members of our households will be extremely meaningful. So let's make this month a time of self-reflection, self-sacrifice, and self-renewal in our faiths. And if you're able, please check in with your family and friends who may be alone or need some support. And as always, if you need any help or have questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to my office. To all the Muslim brothers and sisters, Ramadan Mubarak. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As Muslims gather in Canada and around the world to mark the holy month of Ramadan, I want to share a short message with you. Ramadan is the time for reflection, the time for spirituality. To the frontline workers battling COVID-19, working tirelessly day and night, I want to say thank you. To those in our community who are used to gathering during the month of Ramadan with friends in community centers and in your homes, please stay at home. Practice social distancing. I know it's difficult, but that's what we need to do to keep each other safe. Ramadan is also the time for charity. And so if you can give to organizations serving the most vulnerable, lend a helping hand. We're in this together. Ramadan Mubarak. Friends, I would like to wish Ontario's Muslim community a happy Ramadan. For the Muslim community, Ramadan is the most important and holiest month of the year with a focus on self-reflection, giving to charity, and the virtue of prayers. As we practice social distancing during this crisis, I know Muslims will be praying in their homes rather than being able to attend services at their local mosques. But I know that the spirit and the meaning of Ramadan will continue to inspire everyone. I also want to extend my gratitude to the entire Muslim community for their generosity and support during this time. You have truly made a difference in our fight against COVID-19. Together, we will get through this. Ramadan Mubarak, and I look forward to celebrating with you next year. Hello, Assalamu alaikum, Mrs. Saga Arad Mills. This is Ikra Khalid, your member of parliament, wishing all Muslim Canadians from coast to coast to coast a very blessed and peaceful Ramadan, Ramadan Mubarak to each and every one of you. For me, the month of Ramadan has always been about reconnecting with loved ones, with community, of praying together, breaking bread together, and of course, empathizing with, understanding, and supporting those that are less fortunate in our community. Now this year, our month of fasting will be practiced with physical distancing as we all do our part uh, to flatten the curve of the spread of COVID-19. And that means that we won't be seeing each other in person for Tarabi prayers or for iftars. 
but the spirit of this month will still be maintained as we virtually check in on, on one another, as we support local community organizations that are doing the important work of providing for those that are less fortunate in our community. And I encourage each and every one of you to support those organizations, to donate generously to your local food banks, uh, to make sure that we are all together uh, understanding and appreciating the spirit of Ramzan of this holy month. Uh, so I hope that these next 30 days will be uh, full of peace, full of joy, and full of togetherness for each and every one of you. Ramadan Mubarak once again. Assalamu alaikum. My heart goes out to everyone affected by this COVID-19 crisis. Within all of this turmoil, I pray that together we find hope and strength. I truly believe that by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will come out of this crisis stronger than ever before. This year's Ramadan will be very different. While we remain isolated and practice social distancing, we must remember that God is with us and we are never alone. Please continue to remember in your prayers our frontline healthcare and emergency workers who continue to serve us during this challenging time. God willingly, we will prevail through the challenges that are in front of us and soon we will be with our loved ones. I wish you and your family Ramadan Mubarak. Today I want to send my very best wishes to Muslims throughout Canada and around the world at the start of Islam's holiest month, Ramadan Mubarak. Je vous souhaite les meilleurs vœux pour le Ramadan. Mais cette année, l'occasion commence à un moment sans précédent pour nous tous. This year, of course, is very different. Mosques, Muslim community centers, places where we gather will not be full of worshippers. It simply isn't possible to break bread, to celebrate or practice faith together in fellowship. But in spite of these challenges, I've seen Muslim Canadians across our country roll up their sleeves and lend a helping hand. From checking in on neighbors to nationwide food drives to ensuring there's enough mental health support for those who are struggling, the Muslim community has stepped up just like always. And that strong history of giving back to our country is something we can all be proud of. So I say to Canadian Muslims, thank you for your service through faith. Merci pour votre service par la foi. Be strong, be healthy, and be safe. And most of all, I want to wish you and your loved ones a wonderful Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum. Mayor Bonnie Crombie here, wishing the Sasagas Muslim community a happy, joyous, and blessed month of Ramadan. As you begin a month of fasting, I wish you strength and focus. May the holy month of Ramadan be a solemn period of thoughtful reflection, deep prayer, and renewed appreciation for all observing. Yes, this year will look a little different, and with good reason. This is not the time to gather with family and friends at the mosque or at home. Please stay at home and experience the joys of Ramadan iftar dinner with the community, but virtually. Many mosques across the city will be offering online services. I ask that you also continue to practice the pillars of Ramadan, charity and sacrifice by staying at home. Practice zakat and think of ways that you can help neighbors, friends and family cope with COVID-19. Whether that's by dropping off meals or groceries or simply calling in to check in. Please stay at home. We are in this together and the only way we will get through this is by staying the course. 
I want to take a moment to thank the Muslim Council of Peel and the mosques throughout our community for their leadership during this challenging time. They have proactively put gatherings on hold. They also continue to raise awareness about COVID-19 and work with our local mosques and Islamic organizations to support their efforts. My sincerest thanks. Brighter days are ahead, Mrs. Saga. Ramadan Mubarak. Today marks the first day of Ramadan. And in Ottawa South and across Ontario, Muslim families will begin their observance of the month of Ramadan. It's gonna be harder this year. We can't get together. And we need to do this because we all need to be safe. So from my family to your family, have a blessed Ramadan. Be safe. Ramadan Mubarak. Assalamu alaikum and Ramadan Mubarak. For the next 30 days, Muslims in Canada and around the world will be observing the month of Ramadan. Ramadan is a time for prayer, reflection, and community. And although we can't gather with our friends and families during this time, let us still focus on the core values of Ramadan by being compassionate to one another and giving generously when we can. I wish all those observing a blessed and peaceful Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Patrick Brown, Mayor of the City of Brampton. Muslims here in Brampton and around the world are beginning the month-long fast of Ramadan. During this month, Muslims will abstain from food and drink during the day to strengthen their relationship with God and emphasize with the less fortunate. Uh, I've uh, done fasting uh, during Ramadan and I can tell you it's not easy. I have great admiration for the community. Muslims increase their acts of worship as well as their charitable giving during the sacred month. The breaking of the fast or iftar at sunset is usually a communal affair for Muslims in Ramadan with people gathering at home with friends and family or mosques and large public spaces to eat together. Obviously, this year it's a little bit different with COVID-19. Last year, we held our first ever city-hosted iftar in the heart of downtown Brampton, where over a thousand people gathered to break fast together. It was so beautiful to see. This free event was a beautiful gathering with the community members and the city of Brampton's first ever iftar, a new tradition we were hoping to start. But this year is going to be very different. Because of physical distancing and public health, uh, we need to stay apart. As public spaces, schools and faith institutions around the world have all been closed to the public because of this pandemic. And it's important that they've taken that step. We know that not going to your favorite masjid will be a void felt by many. However, we must continue to stay at home and pray at home to prevent the spread of this insidious COVID-19 virus. Celebrate Ramadan at home. Celebrate with your family at home. I want to thank you. I want to thank our moms who have stepped up and transitioned to this new challenge, giving online sermons. I've had Zoom calls with the moms and everyone in Brampton is really stepping up, understanding this new reality. I also want to thank the Muslim community for providing meals to, to and non-perishable goods to food banks in, in Brampton, helping the less fortunate. Uh, the Muslim community has done incredible uh, charitable giving. And I also want to uh, say thank you uh, to uh, the general public, everyone who's been helping out. Uh, it really has been spectacular. So uh, thank you, Brampton. Stay positive and know that we will celebrate Ramadan together next year. Inshallah, we'll be all the way through this uh, uh, pandemic and we can talk about uh, how 2020 was a unique year. Until then, wishing you the very best of Ramadan to you and your families. Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Kareem, Ramadan Saeed. Assalamu alaikum. Brothers and sisters, I want to wish everyone in the Muslim community, whether or not you're here in Ajax, in Canada, or indeed across the world, Ramadan Mubarak. I know these are very challenging times. Like you, I want to be out in the community celebrating uh, breaking fast with my extended family, my friends, 
people I love at the local mosque or at their homes. But with social distancing and COVID-19, we know that isn't possible. But the power of Ramadan, the message of Ramadan has never been more significant. Connecting us through reflection to the suffering of others, counting our blessings, recognizing how fortunate we are, and calling us to help those that are in need is so important. Because yes, it's tough in a pandemic when you're at home to fast, but imagine how tough it is when food doesn't come at the end of the day. Imagine how tough it is right now for those frontline healthcare workers who are out there flattening the curve, risking their lives to turn the tide on this virus and to keep our community safe. It certainly fills us with gratitude for the blessings of having grocery stores that are opening and that workers who are there uh, making sacrifices so that we have food for iftar or the local restaurant that's staying open and delivering food. It's why I'm so proud once again this year to support Give 30. For the sixth year in a row, I'm gonna be fasting all through Ramadan to give the money and proceeds uh, that I save from fasting to local food banks because we know the need is greater than ever. So whatever you can do to help in your community, whatever you are doing, whether or not it's staying home or whether or not it's helping those that are in need, a huge thank you. I'm absolutely blown away by the resiliency of our community and indeed the international community. And want to say to everybody, uh, if we keep working hard and doing all that we can, inshallah, we will come out stronger than we ever have been before. Take care of one another. Ramadan Mubarak. Good day. It is with great pleasure that I join with the Muslim community in Canada and around the world to mark the start of Ramadan. Ramadan is a great opportunity for us to reflect on the ways our vibrant Muslim community has enriched our national fabric each and every day. From my family to yours, Ramadan Mubarak. C'est avec un grand plaisir que je me joins à la communauté musulmane du Canada et du monde pour souligner le début du Ramadan. De ma famille à la vôtre, Ramadan Mubarak. Hello, salam alaikum. We are welcoming Ramadan this year under difficult circumstances. Ramadan is a month about generosity, discipline, thinking of and solidarity with those who are less fortunate in our society. This year, by following the public health officials' advice, you will be adhering to the true tenets of Ramadan. Traditionally, we observe Ramadan with friends and families, at mosques or with our neighbors. This year, we all have to make adjustments to protect ourselves and those we love. I'm most impressed by the so many Muslim organizations who stepped up during this difficult period. Groups like the Muslim Response Network, Give30, Project Ramadan, among others, are providing assistance to those who need it. Please consider, if you can, donating to these groups or others that are providing essential services. I also want to take a moment to thank the thousands who are on the front line during this pandemic. Wishing you all a healthy and a fulfilling month. Ramadan Mubarak. Premier John Horgan here. Ramadan is a time of spiritual reflection and self-improvement. Many Muslim people will renew their commitments to better themselves and the world around them through acts of charity and service to others. There is no better time than now for us to remember these values. These are extraordinary times. Congregational prayers with friends and family will look different this year. People will find new ways of worshiping and spending time with loved ones. We must continue to do everything we can to keep ourselves and others safe and healthy. Compassion and kindness towards others are what we have to do to get through this. And Ramadan reminds us that we all have a part to play in building a better world. To all those observing this month, I wish you a blessed and peaceful Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, I'm Constable Michael Malari. Ramadan begins tomorrow evening, and we know this is an important month for members of our Muslim community. Much of Ramadan is marked by religious and social gatherings where family and friends unite to break their fast together or attend consecutive days and nights at the mosque for prayer. We've entered some difficult times during COVID-19. And during this month, we will be thinking of you as you celebrate and observe Ramadan. And together, we will get through this as a community and as a country.
So take care, be safe, and continue to follow public health advice. From us here at Peel Regional Police, Ramadan Mubarak. This is Matthew Green, your very proud Member of Parliament right here in Hamilton Center, wishing all of my Muslim friends and neighbors here in my neighborhood, but of course across the region, a blessed Ramadan. As we enter into these days, I want to acknowledge the great challenges that the community is facing without being able to access your mosques. I know that it's a tough time for many people. But may you have the grace of Allah through these times. May you still find ways that you can enjoy and celebrate in your community. I'd like to give a special thank you to all members of the community, such as the Islamic Relief, who are providing services like kits and foods to people who are shut in. We appreciate your work and we thank you for your public service. Assalamu alaikum. Hi, I'm Andrea Horvath, leader of Ontario's official opposition. I'd like to extend my best wishes to Muslim communities here in Ontario and around the world during the holy month of Ramadan. This year, Ramadan will not be the same. You won't be able to go to the mosques for Numaz Tarawi or have iftar together with your jamaat and community. Families and friends will not be able to go to each other's houses for iftars or celebrate and pray together as you normally do. But I know you will not let this affect the true spirit of Ramadan. The Muslim community is extremely resilient. And while Ramadan will be celebrated differently, your devotion, worship, compassion, generosity, and service to others will remain strong and continue during this month and throughout the year. I'd like to recognize and thank all of the Muslim organizations like Muslim Welfare Canada, Islam and Relief Canada, Canadian Muslim Response Network, and many more that have come forward during this time to support our most vulnerable community members. As we practice physical distancing to help limit the spread of COVID-19, I wanna thank everyone for doing their part to protect the health and well-being of their families, loved ones, and community. We will get through this challenging time together. On behalf of Ontario's New Democrats, I want to wish everyone observing this holy month a peaceful and blessed Ramadan. Ramadan Mubarak. I'm Irfan Sabir, your MLA for Calgary Macaw. Today marks the beginning of the holy month of Ramadan. It's a blessed month for prayers, fasting, self-reflection, and many other activities that are unique to this month. Ramadan, however, will look different this year because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But we can still come together in faith and observe Ramadan in its true spirit while maintaining physical distancing. We can still find ways to reach out and connect with our friends and neighbors, sick and elderly, self-isolated and quarantined, and with those who are struggling to make ends meet. Let's take this as an opportunity to emerge stronger in faith. On behalf of Alberta's official opposition, I wish a blessed month of Ramadan to everyone here in Alberta and across the world. Ramadan Mubarak. Asalaamu Alaikum, my brothers and sisters. This is Councillor Georgia Hall of Ward 5. Ramadan is a month of prayer, reflection, and community. But this Ramadan, we will have to celebrate differently and ensure the health and safety of our entire community. We can continue to celebrate with our families, but we may not be able to go to the mosque and celebrate as a community, as we must follow physical distancing. I want to wish you and your family Ramadan Mubarak. Many people will indeed begin fasting on the first of Ramadan uh, tomorrow morning. So Ramadan Mubarak and um, stay home, wash your hands. This is Hemiside, 30 masjids at home in 30 days, Ramadan 2020. Assalamu alaikum.